Hola for day three of the Trofeo Princesa Sofia Iberostar Regatta. We are back at the Club Nautico Arenal and right here at the front of the boat park, we have our cleanwave.org you know, refilling of the water bottle tank. There's actually quite a few of them around each of the venues for the sailors so that they can make sure that they minimise their use of single-use plastics. We might go in. I think this is Diego. Are you filling up your water bottles? Oh, yes, yes. I think it's, it's great to have this thing here. So I think it's, it's good to, to be concerned about the use of plastic and, and reduce it. And yeah, uh, it's great to, to be able to not use the plastic bottles and, and yeah. And, and be sustainable. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> awesome. And I guess it makes you go fast as well because you're doing okay. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Um, it's, it's important to be hydrated for sure. But <laughs> How know. are you going in the regatta? Yeah, we, we had a, an okay first day. Uh, we didn't have any bad races, so which is good. So, yeah, okay. there is a lot of races to go, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. When does the gold and silver split happen for the 49ers? Well, if we get uh, two races today, it will be tomorrow. So, okay. yeah. Fingers crossed, because the 49ers are a little bit different to everybody because you didn't get to race on day one. Yeah, that's it. We hope to have four races the next, well, for the finals and, and see if we can catch up on the schedule. I'm sure you will do a great job and good luck and Thank well done on refilling your water bottles too. What a legend, Diego from the Spain. And he's going to have a great day in the 49er class. We're going to keep on walking into the uh, the racers' village here at Club Nordico Arenal. There are quite a few little things going on as well as the cleanwave.org filling up of the water bottles, which today is sponsored by Marine Pool, by the way. If we wander on in here, and this is for the sailors as well as the organisers, you may not have noticed, see these yellow bins? They're for rubbish. Normal, plain old, ordinary yellow bins. Now there's this yellow bin in the corner, which I spoke about a little bit yesterday. Yola! <laughs> if we go into the corner over here, you can see this yellow bin is a little bit different. See this? Gloves and boots for recycling. It's pretty amazing. Part of the Wave of Change project, thanks to Iberostar Star here at the Trofeo Princesa Sofia, Iberostar Star Regatta. Now, if we have a little look inside, should we see what's inside? See, gloves and boots for recycling. It even says it on the top. Ta-da! Sailors, come and put your gloves and boots for recycling. Look, there's rubbish in there. There shouldn't be rubbish in there. This is for gloves and boots only, sailors. But what is happening as part of a project, thanks to Iago, they're going to take all of these gloves and boots analyze the materials that they're made of and see if there's an alternative, you know, basically material that boots and gloves can be made from that will be more sustainable and potentially biodegradable. So this is something that is very, very important um, to the heart of this regatta as well as making sure that we see this wave of change going through the event. As you can see, the 470 women and men are getting ready to head out. Everybody uh, will be splitting into gold and silver fleets today, apart from the 49ers, as we just spoke of with Diego. And so we are set to have plenty of action. Remember that you can stay tuned on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, or right here on Facebook, or head to the website or the app, which we'll be talking a little bit more about later in a video that you can catch up on today. We're going to run through how to explain the app to you as well. Yay! Have a great day, Poland. <laughs> Everybody's getting excited to head out on the water. And remember that we are live on Instagram and Facebook throughout the day. And every time that we go live, they are very, very different. So you'll have to follow us on both channels. My name is Nick Douglas, otherwise known as the Sailor Girl. We'll see you soon. And welcome, everybody. We're on the 49er course. We just saw Poland 42 finish behind us to take out race four of their series. We're coming in hot behind them. Poland 42 is Trzbitek uh, and Kolonjinski. We have Germany 22. So many Germans, it's Adidas Eyewear, Megan Dorfer and Spranger are in second. Now just to fill you in quickly guys, these 49ers are still qualifying. So this is race four of their series. Once they get to race five, then they will split into gold and silver fleets, unlike everybody else who's on the course at the moment. 27, Portugal, interesting. They rounded the uh, the starboard gate mark, so they did a right-hand turn. One of only a few to do a right-hand turn. So they've gone from about six up to third on that last beat. Very nicely done. Portugal, 27, and Russia, 96, finish in fourth. So these guys are all just 
wrangling the best they can to get into the top bunch. Russia 96 is Czech and Zotov. Espanola will come in in fifth. Very low volume again. Doesn't like the 49ers. Copy that. Espanola. How about now, guys? How's the volume? 317 is Bagalo, Luis Bagalo, and Yori Lorenzo. Switzerland. <laughs> One, two, nine in sixth. Tell us how the volume is, guys. Woo! Look at this. Big fight between India and Spain. Nine, six, six. Wooshka. Thanks to Ann Turner. Always give us a heads up on volume, guys. One, four, seven, Italy. Yay, perfect, guys. Can't do it without you. Just to uh, recap, Poland took the win in race four here. And as we mentioned, the 49ers are the only ones still to finish their qualifying rounds. This is race four of their qualifying round. One more race to go, and we will split into silver and gold and bronze fleets. We do have three 49er fleets. There's 108 of them racing here at the Trofea Princesa Sofia. Ibiro Star Regatta. Amazing. Look at, the, look at them all coming down. They're zooming too. It's, it's quite light at the moment, but it's amazing how quickly they do move. And as this breeze builds, no doubt the sailors will be having a fantastic time out here. We've got another really close finish coming up here, guys, between Netherlands, Belgium, or oh, Germany, France, another Germany team, Española 46. Interestingly, I don't see too many of the leading bunch. I think the Germans actually were in the leading bunch, Germany 4. That might not be what they were hoping for in this instance. Kurt Hansen, here they come, the Australian 71. They were leading before race 4 today, Hansen and Hoffman. And they're in probably the 20s. That will move them down the leaderboard, though they will drop that one to start with, but no one wants to have a big regatta result in their pocket. Netherlands, 491. Thailand, look at all these nations. Kiwis, New Zealand, 18. It's looking right down the finish line at times here. So 108 boats. I'm just going to try and do some quick maths. 99 would be... 33 a fleet, 108, probably 35 boats, little over 35, 36 a fleet. USA, Switzerland, they're all tight. It's about 40 seconds till the last boat in this fleet. Oh, girl up the front, perfect. In 993 Española, mixed crew, just there there's a mixed crew, winning. Danish, France, Danish, Finland, 203. One big job coming up here, Church. Oh, they're just going to coast in. Oh, I thought we'd have a nice job on the finish line. Nice drop there, too. And in comes the final boat, Germany 161 to cross the line. I think the Germans have 14 people competing in this fleet of 108. There's more Germans than Spanish. Germany 113 will wrap up the yellow fleet. We'll try and check in with the red fleet and the blue fleet as the day progresses, but there's plenty more racing happening on the Bay of Palma amongst these 10 fleets. Everybody else is doing their gold and silver fleet racing today. We'll be keeping you posted. Be sure to stay tuned to Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. The app as well is fantastic. Make sure you check it out. My name is Nick Douglas, the Sailor Girl. See you soon. 24. Here we are guys out on the beautiful Bay of Palma. I'm keeping my eyes completely glued to what is in front of me because this is the first race of the gold fleet for the fin class. Leading is New Zealand 24. He's currently in third overall so this is a great great little result for him. I'm just going to get his name. It's Saucy Josh Jr. So he's currently in third overall. In first overall is Andrew Maloney 
He's New Zealand 61, who's just behind him in third position at the moment. And in second at the moment is France 1-1-2. That's Jonathan, Jonathan Lebert. Awesome work. You. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. <laughs> you want to come talk? Nah, he doesn't want to talk. Oh, bad juju if you come and talk. Andrew Maloney in first place there <laughs> for the first race of the Gold Fleet. Then, as I said, France 1-1-2. One, one, Jonathan Lobert. And then 61. Kiwis 1. 2-1 there, Finland, 2-1-8, my lucky number, in case you needed to know that. That is Tapio Nerco. And then Espanola 7, after Brazil, 109 is Jorge Zarif. Yes, and then Espanola 7 is Alejandro Musket. Then Germany, 25. Muscat, sorry. Germany, 25 is uh, Max Kolhoff, then Sweden 11, is Johans Pedersen, France 93, Netherlands 89, Germany 259, too fast now guys, can't keep up, there's Giles Scott, he's deep, 41, he was in second place before the start of this race, Turkey 21, was doing very well in the qualifying rounds, GBR 71, that's Ed Wright, must have been a big shift in this race I'm guessing, that's ninth overall and second overall deep in uh, in the teens. 77 from Greece. 73 Russia. Czech, five. Look how close this racing is, guys. Finland, eight. We're at the business end of the competition. Argentina, four, eight. Then GBR, 11. That's actually it right there. Sorry. GBR, 11. He's even deeper. 359 Croatia. Then Poland, 17. Yeah, let's see if somebody can come and talk to us. Can you come talk to us and tell us about the race? No, it doesn't want to. Poland 52. Poland! Wanna come talk? We can go, we can go. Do you wanna go? Yes, we go. Wait. <whistles> we'll try and find somebody. I wanna know what happened in this race because it looks like there was a big shift. Here, we'll try this one. Hey, buddy, you wanna come talk? Nah, nobody wants to talk. Sounds like everybody had a rough race. Oh, not good. Maybe we can talk to the finishers and see what happened. Does anybody want to come and talk to us? Talk to us. Tell us what happened. Hola. Hola. You want to come talk? Come and, come and tell us what happened. Yay. We have a taker. Awesome. Hola. What is, what is your name? Joan Cardona. Nice to meet you. What, what happened in that race? Looks like there might have been a big shift. Yeah, it was huge left shift. And I was first one in the race, so it was not a very good race for me, but... Trying to, yeah, trying to make better in the next one. Yeah, sure. How far left did it go? I think like 20 degrees maybe, yeah, yeah. from the start. Wow, that's also big. More pressure, so mm -hmm. it might, uh, right hand, not very good. Okay, well, good luck for the next one. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. You're, you're very welcome. Thank you so much to him for letting us know. So as I predicted, we saw quite a few of the, the leaders before going into the gold fleet today. We're well deep in the pack. And it sounds like there was a massive left shift, 20 degrees and more pressure. So, oof, we're all going to have to stay tuned to the Trofeo Princesa Sofia Iberostar app so we can see what happens with the results once they process race six of their series, I believe, which is um, the first of Gold Fleet. So, amazing action and lovely to be here with you live. My name's Nick Douglas. More coming from the racetrack here for the 50th anniversary of this amazing event very soon. It's all but go time here for the second race of the Gold Fleet Fin Racing here on day three at the Trofea Princesa Sofia Iberosta Regatta. Croatia won. Josip Olujic is right at this end. Netherlands is not going to lay the pin. France feels pin favoured to me, but a lot of the British boats that were in the top are up the other end. Here we go. It's go time now. 24 New Zealand is currently in third position now after the finish of the Gulf Fleet, which you may have seen live on Facebook. Andrew Maloney is in first from New Zealand in second, Josh Jr. That is that Kiwi boat that you can see just there. New Zealand 24, currently in second overall. Netherlands 89, also up this end. He is in third position. GBR 41, Giles Scott still in fourth, even after a tough one in that 
First race of the Gold Fleet. Oh, this is amazing. Turkish 21, Alakan Kana right here. He's in eighth position overall. If we just pan left, you can see the Turkish boat. He's currently in eighth overall. So they're liking this left-hand side, and you can see all of these boats falling into one another as they're heading left, which to me says there will be a left shift. There was a big left shift in the first race of the day, 20 degrees all but, which put a lot of people on the back foot. There were not many happy sailors at the end of the first race of Gold Fleet. Nobody wanted to talk to us, but we did manage to talk to one of the Spanish sailors who let us know why everybody was a little bit grumpy. Very tricky conditions here. You can see there's quite a bit of lump, as in sea state. Big bumps that we're going over on the rib that we're on. And not much breeze. So these guys need to be powered up and really pushing these boats through the water. Finland 218 was fourth, I think, in the last race. He's just heading out on, on port now. One of the first to tack over. Croatia still going. just looking for the the kiwi boat he's actually stepped up josh jr started towards the pin end and he's taken a step up towards sweden 33 i can see him up there further up the line i can just see the two gbr boats they're on port tack heading out to that right hand side of the course not sure if if uh, i'd be doing that again when it had hit me so hard in that first race but you've got to take each race as it comes and these olympic sailors really know really know their stuff so I'm not going to doubt them at all over my personal knowledge but it's so great that we can be right in the mix of it. McGill our driver is so good he's getting us right in the midst of the action look let's give McGill a wave look at him he's a legend he's so good he's been getting us right right in the middle we've got a Danish photographer on the back we're meant to drop him off on a Danish photography but I don't think he wants to change because we're so in the middle of, of everything so we might uh, we might head over to the 470s now I think Chuchi was saying so for those who are watching and want some 470 action just to recap this was the start of race six in the series or the second race of today which is day three of racing here at the Trofeo Princesa Sofia Ibero Star Regatta and we will now head over to the 470s. You can see the finish for the first of these guys race already on Facebook. I had the start of the Silver Fleet. For those who may want to check out the Silver Fleet, their live start is on our Instagram page. So you can see it there and head to the app as well. I've actually got now the, the entry list and the app in my left hand, which is just really helping me make my way through and make sense of all of these numbers just the same as you guys. I'll see you very soon. Guys, we're out on the Bay of Palmer. The girls are just about to go. It looks like a general to me. We'll see what happens. This is all on. Oh, my gosh. All of the regatta leaders are here. Elena Bertita, who is in ninth position, up to win with France 9, Camille Lecontra. Yeah, general recall. First substitute flying on the start, but it had to be with about 20 seconds to go. They're all pushing out there. Oh, unbelievable. So at the moment, Camille Lecontra and... Hannah Mills and Tina Mrak are one, two, and three. France, GBR, and then Slovenia. Big mix-up in the first race of the gold fleet. I'm, I'm just having a look now through the results on the Trofea Princesa Sofia Bierosta app. So handy. I'm like, what happened? The big mix-up with the, the minor placing. The French doing a, a great job at the moment out in front. They're our regatta leaders at the moment. That's Camille Lecontra. They were at this end looking at the pin for quite a long time. We saw them actually set up with about four minutes to go. They did their last pin test. Now just one boat up, one or two boats up from the pin. We'll see if that happens again after this general, whether we see another black flag. Maybe, maybe it's up when we come and visit the 470 fleet. We get black flags. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> if you didn't see it, I think yesterday we were live with the 470 fleet and Elena Bertha absolutely nailed the pin. She went on to win that race. It shows you how important the start is. But it is a, a tricky, tricky day. Oh, still feel pin to me. We have Australia 5 near Durwood. Getting right in their way. 
<laughs> Hi, lady. Come to Hannah Mills. She's going to have her last look at the line. Been a gold medalist in this class. I believe a row at Sailor of the Year as well. Now with a different crew winding up the Tokyo 2020. <laughs> Does everybody hear us now? How's the audio, guys? Hannah Mills doing her last check. <laughs> Yeah, Pete Moran, there you go. Shout out. I told you I'd seen them floating around. Hannah Mills is just on her last check of the start line. Pete, can you hear the sound okay? How's the sound going for you? Just looking for an O flag. The race committee has gone a black flag. So he's not taking responsibility for this start line. He's going to leave everybody up to their own devices. Again, Camilla Contra doing her typical four minute test at the pin end. This must be part of her starting routine. You can't help it as a sailor. You love to get yourself into a routine. Make sure you've ticked all the boxes. Elena Berta also down this end having a look. Hannah Mills heading back towards the boat. I'm guessing that she'll tack around with about two minutes to go. She likes the starboard approach. Looks like Elena Berta likes her port hand approach. She'll come back towards this end, jibe and, and set herself up to leeward of the fleet. Is Española 18? Just heading out on port in the middle of the line, Sylvia and Patrie are having a great regatta till race four. Got a pesky black flag. That was last time we were watching. Hopefully it's not my fault. <laughs> Bad juju. No, no, no. They're going to have a great race. Fingers crossed. About two minutes to go. As predicted, here's Ellen Alberta setting up to lure to the fleet. Japan 3 also down this end and another Italian boat Someone's asking what's, the force of the wind? what's the force of the wind no problems oh gosh it's it's quite light I would say it's sometimes down to six up to maybe 10 knots in the puffs it's quite light at the moment we're in a we're in a, a down phase but there's a little bit of pressure to our right hand side most of the day people have been finding shifts on the left so yeah, and, and very lumpy. I mentioned when we were watching the Finn class when they started, there's quite a bit of swell. Uh, well, like the sea state is rough. So these guys are gonna have to really power up. Ellen Aberta going for another circle to lure to the pack here. Netherland, uh, French boat heading back. Let's we'll see if they fight for this pin. France seven. That is Marina Lafort and Lara Granla. All right, coming up to the one minute mark. Sweden five, Farni and oh my gosh, Linda and Marja. We're just gonna go with first names for Swiss five. Whew, that's complicated. France seven. Lafort and Grania holding the most pin position. Italy six, Elena Berta second from the pin she's going to make a, a last minute dial down here and she'll try and get the hook nope she's let the french go just looking to see if there's any other top i can't see any of the top end now towards this pin end they've decided that it's gone right and i did mention that i could see that pressure on the right hand side there you can see most of the key players now to to mid middle of the line and upwards of that even got two tacks from the french and the italians trying to get themselves back towards that boat end. And another double tack from the French. Elena Berta follows. They're all now trying to get back towards that right-hand side. They've left themselves on the now unfavoured side of the line. Will there be any black flags on this start line? You can know as soon as I'll know if you have the app on your phone, just like me, we'll be watching. The Japanese also doing a double tack, trying to work their way back towards the boat. Here we go. All those Italian 74 are out there. Italy 74 were definitely out there, but it's not my call. It's that of the race committee. We'll see if they call anybody over. I can hear lots of shouting up towards the boat end of the line. Right here we have Elena Berta has managed to get herself away, I believe, cleanly, but that's not my call. 
with France 7, that's Lafort on her hip, up to Swiss 5. And then Japanese team Tanaka and Noda, Netherlands 11 and Italy 74. Russia 97, Israel 11. I'm just trying to shout out a few teams for those who might be watching so that you can know where your guys are. That one, that start was definitely boat end favoured in the final stages. Just trying to pick out some of the key players and I do not see anybody from this end besides Elena Berta who's in the top 10. Really interesting. English is not the official language but I prefer Spanish why not oh I'm really sorry I, I actually don't speak Spanish and you know there's, there's teams following from all over the world I think Spanish is definitely the official language of Spain but when you have 67 nations represented at this event and English is apparently the most common language so the organizers flew me in to commentate in English so there you go and I am um, I can't speak Spanish except for hola and oh you know Trofeo Princesa Sofia Iberosta. So, thank you for having me. So lovely to be here. <laughs> and those 470s are off to a great start. We'll, we are going to stay tuned to that app and see if there were any black flags. I hope not. It's I don't I don't like black flags. But then you know we all have to have rules and we have to stick to them. So we'll see how this all plays out. But just fantastic racing here on the Bay of Palma for the 50th anniversary of this beautiful event. And we'll be with you very, very soon, guys. Make sure you check out. We've been with the Finn class today. And we, have, we had the Silver Fleet on Instagram as well. So we're doing our best to cover as much of the fleets as we can live. And there's plenty of other action on all of our other channels. That was just the lowering of the preparatory signal here at the NACRA 17 class. We're about to watch the start of their third race of the Gold Fleet series. We are yet to see the results from their second race, but the, this morning's race was won by none other than Tara and Florian, the Espanol boat. They've had a great day thus far. Towards the pin, I can see Lisa Darmanin and Jason Waterhouse just to windward of Ica Martinez. Tara and Florian are a little bit further down to Leward. All of the key players at the moment are towards that windward end, as far as I can tell. I'm just going to have a little bit of a look at my Trofeo Princesa Sofia Iberostar app. At the moment, Italy 26 is leading. They're actually trying to accelerate now in the middle of the line. Here they go. It's go time. See if they call an individual. I had a few by my eyeballs, but we are a little bit in front of the start line. France 56 accelerating here. That is Delapierre and Ordinet, Ordinet, the Danish 71, Lin Schenholt and Lubeck, up to Sweden 439, Jarud and Johnson, Brazil 10 are away as well, New Zealand's first attack onto port, heading out to that right hand side, it looks like that boat end or all of that pack of boats that started the boat end are going right and a lot of them are in at the top 10 at this regatta so they're pushing hard to that right hand side for a reason very interesting just to windward of this uh this main pack we've got argentina 372 we all know who that is <laughs> well that's madalena bosco and then santiago is argentina one he is just in frame now with Italy 5 going behind Santiago Lago and Espanola 28 are in a really good position here that is Tara and Florian Trattel pushing out to the left hand side we'll see how this race eventuates in the results and again you can check that out on the Iberostar app quite a cloud affected racetrack I'm guessing today we are in Sort of a, a southeasterly direction. Interesting. It's it's quite a different direction to the other days that we've had. Like I'm in the southwest. It's quite. It's a bit more in the south, so a little bit more left of what we've had in previous days. And this cloud is really getting involved in in the racetrack. So there's a bit of pressure. But as you can see here, we've got a really soft patch. So the crews will have to find themselves powering up. And then on the edges of these clouds, 
quite a bit more pressure. So everyone has to be really on top of what we call their gear changes. So making sure that the boat is powered up and then depowered and really moving their body weight. So everyone will be really tired tonight. If you haven't seen already, we've checked in with the Finn class today, as well as the 470 women. We've been with the 49er class as well, which was fantastic. And there are some stories as well on Instagram, so make sure you check that out. It was great to be in the boat park this morning talking about sustainability. And then on our Instagram Live, we also uh, did a, little, a few little interviews in Spanish. We had a comment on our last Live about why this isn't in Spanish. There are some Spanish elements on Instagram as well, which I just thought of actually, which was great. It was great to have Louis from the press office there. So a big shout out to everyone who's working hard behind the scenes. I know there'll be a picture going up of the medical boat that's helping out here on the NACRA 17 course. Thank you so much to them for being on hand with these boats foiling. Sometimes incidents do happen, so it's great to have some people here on the water ready to help out if necessary but so far so good which is great you'd rather be prepared than not wouldn't you my name's nick douglas and it's lovely to have you with us we'll be back with plenty more action very soon from on the bay of palma as we're on the bay of palma the finish for the laser full rig gold fleet that's shiviarini in first from the gbr team and in second 685 from the GBR team as well. I'm just scrolling through the app to see who GBR 685 is. It's Elliot Hansen in second place, who we spoke to as part of our live over at Campus Steer the other morning. Nice. Hola. You want to come talk to us? Yeah, come talk to us. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll back up a bit and you can come have a chat to us. Elliot Hansen's going to come have a chat to us, everybody. Cool, here he comes. And then Croatia, TTO, Brazil, here he comes. Elliot Hansen coming on in. Nice work, buddy. I remember you from the boat park. Oh, yeah? yeah, of course. <laughs> here, give me a hand. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Robert Scheidt. <laughs> Robert Scheidt having a pretty good day. Here we go, Mr. Elliot Hansen. How was your um, your day today in the Gulf Fleet? Uh, really good, yeah. Just, uh, I was trying to stay you know, really conservative over the uh, qualifying series. Um, so I was struggling with my starts a little. Um, but today sort of came out the blocks a bit faster and uh, once you get into that front row and, and an onshore breeze in Palmer, it's a hell of a lot easier. So uh, yeah, really good day and, and uh, looking forward to the next two days. Yeah. How, was, how was the racing today? I mean, can you explain you know, the, the, the overall shiftingness? Uh, yeah, it was pretty unstable, sort of gradient day, and uh, you know, we're getting quite a number of shifts per beat, but a lot of those are quite subtle. Um, so, you know, if you, if you do get a bad start, like I said, it's really hard to, to, to get back. There's no real big gains in it. It's just uh, smaller distance and, and not sailing in the big group. Yeah, awesome. um, it must be fun, you know, sailing in this fleet when it gets to this end of the competition. So there's a lot of laser heroes that are here in Palmer. What do you reckon? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's certainly great to have, uh, have Robert back and, uh, you know, we've got multiple world champions, uh, Olympic champions and so on. So, you know, the, I think the fleet's probably stronger than it's ever been. And the only guys we're missing really are the guys down under and the, and the Kiwis who are, are going to join us later in the European season. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to let you get home because you must be exhausted. But well done on, an, on another great day. Awesome. Elliot Hansen, what a gentleman. We caught up with him in the boat park over at Canvastia the other day. And just look at this, the Gulf Fleet actually overlapped a little bit with the Silver Fleet, so they just keep coming. Absolutely phenomenal. I think there's 198 lasers here at the Trofea uh, Princesa Sofia. Ibero Star Regatta, absolutely phenomenal. And, and he mentioned Robert, that was Robert Scheidt who finished just behind him. I mean, it must be amazing racing against your heroes and going, hang on a minute, who's that guy? But as every Olympic sailor can attest to, when you're on the water, it's just another boat. And then afterwards, you're like, whoa, okay, here we go. It's awesome. <laughs> come talk to us. <laughs> Hungry competitor, big waves. Come and talk. Come on, come on. <laughs> ah, I love it. It's so good. Well, I think this will be our last on water live today. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Bay of Palmer for the 50th anniversary. It's just fantastic to see so many smiles on so many sailors' faces as they get ready for their tow home or, you know, just celebrating a good day of racing. This is the Gold Fleet end of the competition. 
and lots of uh, hard work is either being rewarded or remissed. A few um, deck punches there from one of the French competitors as we start to really wind up into Tokyo 2020. We mentioned earlier in the event that this event is being used as a qualification event for a lot of nations. They're already thinking about where this is all going to end. Now we hear the co we see the coaches that are working hard behind the scenes as well. Shout out to all the shore crews and the coaches that are here in Palmer as part of this amazing event. My name's Nick Douglas, otherwise known as the Sailor Girl. You heard it here, a very shifty gradient breeze today. As I mentioned, it's a little bit further around to the left than the, the empat or the sea breeze that comes more from the southwest. And we'll uh, head back on shore and see if we can catch up with a few of the sailors on land to see how their day was as well. But you can check out all of this live action right here on Facebook or on Instagram. We were live for the finish of the 470 women on Instagram when we uh, covered that start. So that was great to see the, the results of that race as well. And I think Italy uh, 74 was the, was the boat that was black flagged in the 470 women as well, just from memory. Lacra 17s are all heading in, 470s are off the water. This is the last race for the lasers today. I believe the laser radials have just finished up as well. We can see the NACRAs are doing their last race now. So well done to all of the organisers behind the scenes for having a very, very clean day of racing and taking the best advantage of these conditions that we've had. We'll see you later on in the boat park and then again tomorrow for day four at the Trofea Princesa Sofia Iberostar 50th anniversary. Alrighty guys, here we are in the RSX course. I know we said we wouldn't go live again, but we couldn't help it. We wanted to give the RSX women some love. We just missed the finish, but the first one across the line was Israel 32. That's Katie Spitschkakoff. Whoa, that's a mouthful. And then it was Israel 7, which is Maya Morris. Third across the line was Netherlands 3. And then... Denmark 3-2-1. Denmark 3-2-1 was fourth. That is Lark Bull Hansen. And the Netherlands was Lillian de Goose. Then Turkey 191. Then Japan 35. And I'm not going to be able to call these out to you guys, but fantastic to see Israel take one and two. We just saw the men's racing as well, and it was Israel 1, 2, 3, 4, China 5th. Israel 6th. So clearly the Israelis have some special water or something. Uh, <laughs> very, very skilled in the RSX department. And these guys are all winding up in anticipation of their European Championship, which will be held on these very waters from the Club Nordico Arenal, following the Trofeo Princesa Sofia Regatta next week as their Europeans. A little bit more pressure for these guys today, which has to be a relief. Not that they're working the boats any less, but with a little bit more speed, it means there's less pumps per race, so to speak. Just fantastic. They look so pretty. You can see the guys coming down just behind them. The difference is the girls have um, a yellow top. I think they have a smaller sail and the guys have yellow and orange at the top just to make it easier to distinguish. It's the same with the 49ers have um, yellow on their sails to distinguish them from the FXs, which have blue and a slightly shorter rig and, and smaller sails. So just to make it a little bit more manageable, really awesome. I think um, just some quick facts, if I have them for you, for the women's RSX, we have 65 total competitors. I believe. Oh, you're a hero, aren't you? RSX women, 56, and 23 of them are under 21. Great to see up-and-coming sailors. I do love to support our youth sailors and our female sailors, so it's even better. And McGill's helping me right now. I've got myself in a little twist. There we go. Mexico, 68, coming in. Lots of coach boats. You can see everybody here getting organised. They just lay their sail over the top of the coach boat jump on they'll be consuming a few calories in between races some sugar gel packs Croatia 991 another Mexican 28 oh I'm tired just looking at them look how tired these guys look they're on fire I think there's another fleet just behind 
by the looks or no these guys oh there's some of the sailors back here even at the back of the pack here you can see some sailors like really pushing hard to gain every last little place that they can coming in for that last jive and to make sure they're coming in on the optimum angle here comes japan and we're a little bit closer to home now we're, we're keeping this boat over at the club not to go out and out but uh, Cam Bastia, we can still see some of the full reg lasers sailing into Cam Bastia, which is just behind us in what you can see at the moment. On screen, Japan 32 coming across the line here on the RSX Women course. And if you've just joined us, a brilliant race by two Israeli teams in the RSX Women. I'll stay with you here so that you guys can catch your favourites. But remember, if you want to follow your favourites and you want to get notifications to see how they're going or what's happening on their racetrack, it's cool this morning I started following the laser radial class. I got a bit excited and uh, and, and selected to follow them. Yell, I'm going to get a shout out to Sonia Ramos, who is watching at the moment. And John Emmett, great to see them here and watching the RSX one, Cyprus one coming across the line, Russia nine will be next, then USA four, then Belarus seven five three, Hong Kong will be next. Here a whistle behind me. I think it's one of the coaches blowing a whistle at their uh, their trusty RSX sailor. Yes, Hong Kong. Coming in, Japan, another Japan too. And Belarus again. Bulgaria, Portugal. USA 4 coming straight at us. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like, oh, somebody replace my legs, please. <laughs> yep, I'd feel that way too. <laughs> And again, remember that these guys are sort of balancing racing at this regatta and leading up to one of their major events, which is the Europeans. Brazil 16, not too many left to go in this fleet, which I just mentioned has 56 sailors and 23 under 21. Awesome, awesome action. Ukraine 7. Then a Spanish, I can pick that Spanish flag a mile away now, like I've become attuned to it. Could be Sonia's daughter. Oh, Sonia's daughter is coming in, excellent, that must be why she's watching. Could be, okay, let me have a little look. Yeah, one of the youngest sailors in the fleet. I think a few of these look quite young. <laughs> ah, oh, the first man is coming through as well, we've just... My, my trusty boat driver has just noticed that the first man is coming through, so we might, yeah, so we might report these men that are coming through too. Española 38. Oh, I've got lasers, that's why I'm twisted. <laughs> Here we go. That's, uh, yes, that is her daughter. That is Ramos. <laughs> we should tell her to come and say hello. And here comes our first guy in with one of the last females. We're going to try and stalk Española 38 so that Sonia Ramos can see her daughter out here on the water. Israel 28 with the men. I'll just let you know. Uh, is it 24? Israel 24 is... Oh, uh, you'll have Omar. He had a great race the other day too. And then Israeli 253 is you'll have Kohan. It's the same two Yoavs that won before. Come and talk to us. Your mum's watching. <laughs> Your mum is watching. Yeah, here she comes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hello. Hola. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Can you get close up? Uh, yeah. You can try. She's got it. She's got it. And we're going to have a little chat here. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice work. Here, yeah, I'm going to grab you. Yes, good work. You want to sit? Yes. Yes, good work. Hola. Hola. How old are you? I'm fine. How, how old are you? Uh, um, I am 16. 16. And you're fine? Hard work? Yes. Yes. You're doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> you you want to wave to your mum? She's watching. 
<laughs> Your mama. She's watching. Live. <laughs> She's doing so good. You're very good. Hola. <laughs> away. Get them away. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, will you be okay? Yes. Yeah. You'll be all right. Yes, I see. I'm a tough girl. <laughs> Are you doing Europeans? Yes. Yes. Uh, what is it like? You know, Sophia, Trophia, Trophia, Sophia, Princess Sophia Regatta. It's good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you from here? Home? Yes. This water. Is it is it good? The Bay of Palma. Uh. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's so sissy. My turn? <laughs> <laughs> Say no, no, no. no. <laughs> no you're, doing, you're doing so good. Thank you. No, you're very welcome. Good luck. Thank okay, you. Cool. You have a good day, gorgeous girl. You okay? Yes. Oh, she's like, I'm pro at this. Look at her go. Ta da! Oh, she's so good. 16. My gosh. Wish I was that good at something when I was 16. Look at her go. Oh, I'll just reverse this board casually out of here. Lift up my center board and uh, go downwind. Cheers. Oh, she's just going to chill. <laughs> oh, so good. Adios. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, awesome. There's one of our little sailor girls here. Not that she's little. She's bloody tough to be sailing that RSX. Great to see her out here. And we're going to call it a day now on the water. I know we said that before, but we couldn't help but call in here with the RSX women. And we caught the front end of the guys finishing as well. Great to have everybody here winding up into their Europeans, not only for the Trofeo Princess Sofia Iberista. Let's wrap it up here and, um, and we'll see you. Very, very soon for more action direct from the boat park as we have more girls finishing in the background and, uh, and the boys too. Awesome. See you soon, guys. Here we go guys, we said we weren't going to go live and then we said we weren't going to go live and now we're live again, third time later -ish. Here we are with the FX Gold Fleet on the Bay of Palma. We've got about 10 seconds to go. We have Germany 55 right at this end with us. That's Drew Fox and Lorenz. GBR 3 trying to push in right at the pin. It feels like boat end to me. And they're away. Brazil at current regatta leaders are about eight boats down from the boat. Of course, our gold medalist from Rio 2016. And I love that I say our because we all claim gold medalists, don't we? We're very, very skilled at doing that. Uh, Norway 26, that's New Zealand 8. That's Molly Meat. She's currently in second position at the moment. So she'll be looking to get herself out of this hole very soon. There she goes, tacking over. I think she'll have a spot to go in behind Netherlands 64 now that the USA 92 have tacked off. Jeff Robel and Maggie Shea from USA have themselves in a nice position, but you can see there Brazil 12 pushing away. Netherlands 64 have tacked over. I'm really liking where the GBR boat is. GBR 10 up in that position, I think. They've probably had the best start. I'm going to call them the best start. And they, they started, I think, one boat down from the boat. GBR 10 is Charlotte Dobson and Sass Tidy. They're actually in second place, my apologies. They're in second place behind the Brazilians. And third is Molly Meats from New Zealand. So great start from Sass Tidy and, uh, and, um, and, and her skipper there. Beautiful work. Absolutely motoring. Now, the 49ers have wrapped up three races today. 
And they'll be into their Gold Fleet racing tomorrow. The FXs are into their third race now of Gold Fleet. Doing exceptionally well. We've seen a little bit of a shuffle up in the results since they've gone into the Gold Fleet racing. The Brazilians rising to the top. We'll see if they can hold on after, after they had to make that bail out to the right-hand side. And you'll just have to stay tuned on the app and also Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and our website. I think we're going to call it here, guys. I'm going to untangle myself. Ta-da. It's my last trick for the day. Actually, my last trick for the day. I know we said with RSX women, and I think before that, the laser standards were like, last broadcast, last broadcast, last broadcast, but we can't help but keep bringing you more action. It's in our nature here at the Trophy of Princess of Sophia. You better start, Regatta. We're here for the sailors, and we're loving every single minute of it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.